Good. Say that again. Oh, okay. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Can you hear me all right? Can you hear me okay now? Thank you for being here. Hi, Emma. Hi. Hi. Thanksgiving Day, Reverend Warnock and I were at Hosea Feeds the Hungry to help families here in Georgia that are having trouble putting food on the table to feed themselves during this Thanksgiving. There are a lot of people suffering in our state and in our country right now. This is a really tough time for families and businesses. And our senator, while he's been blocking desperately needed financial relief for ordinary working people here in Georgia and for businesses, has been using his office to enrich himself. Last week, reporting by the Associated Press, the New York Times, the Daily Beast, has revealed not just one incident, but a pattern of misconduct and self-dealing by Senator David Perdue. He aggressively traded stocks in the financial services industry while he sat on the banking committee. As he took the chairmanship of the Sea Power Subcommittee for the Senate Armed Services Committee. He was trading stock in a defense contractor to which he then directed taxpayer dollars before cashing out at a profit. He was dumping shares in Cartolytics in January after what appeared to be private conversations with senior executives of that company. And as we know, he was buying shares and manufacturers of vaccines and medical equipment and dumping his casino shares while he had access to classified briefings on COVID-19 and was claiming in public that this disease was no deadlier than the flu. And most revealing of all in what's come out in the last week is that Senator Perdue has been lying to the public and to you, members of the press, for the last year about his financial misconduct. Because Senator Perdue has repeatedly claimed that he doesn't control his day-to-day -day stock trades. But federal agents secured banking records, which revealed that Senator Perdue did, in fact, personally instruct stock trading. So for Georgia's senator to be profiting from a pandemic, about which he is lying in public, downplaying the risk while he trades medical stocks and then lying to the people about his own financial misconduct is totally unacceptable. The truth is Senator Perdue did direct his investments personally. So every time he has said he's not personally responsible for profiting from this pandemic, he's been lying to you. Perdue's misconduct is repeated and flagrant. And now he's been exposed lying to the public and to the press about this misconduct. Senator Perdue has total control over his own stock portfolio. He refuses to this day to place his assets in a blind trust. He was exchanging emails personally about the details of his investment. And he was personally calling up his stockbroker to place stock trades. So Senator Perdue needs to come out of hiding and answer some questions. Senator Perdue needs to answer why he told Georgians that he had no role in trading stocks if bank records obtained by the FBI show that he personally instructed a million dollars worth of sales at minimum during this pandemic. He needs to answer what private conversations he had with senior executives at Cardolytics before he abruptly and personally instructed his stockbroker to dump shares in that company. 
He needs to answer whether he will make available to the public every document that he's made available to the FBI. He needs to answer whether he personally directed stock trades in a naval contractor, which produces submarine components while he was directing taxpayer dollars to procurement of their products. And he needs to answer what other stock trades he personally directed. 